What's up everybody, Eric here, driver lineup, World's Decay steering wheel holder. And uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm doing a low light grainy video. <laughs> it's been a long time since you guys have gotten a uh, low light, no sun, grainy video. <laughs> um, but I'm sitting at, sitting at a no JDQ transportation, I'm not at a rest area. Uh, sitting at a gas station, actually waiting for um, waiting for the sun to come up. Actually, I've had a ton of work to do in the last three days that um, kind of was unplanned. So it just created a chaotic couple days. Um, so I'm waiting on the sun to come up so I can head out to the ranch. Just can't really do anything. Even going through my gates in the pitch black, I don't have lights out at the gates yet. So just a lot of work to do. But anyway, I wanted to uh, touch on um, some quite I just saw a shooting star. That's a hell of a thing. Like the sun's coming up in like 10 minutes. The shooting star just shot across the street. Anyway, uh, questions come up about running a fleet and uh, ha are there any concerns with new drivers? And, or do you, you know, how do you get comfortable with new drivers in your trucks? And, um, you know, what if something happens to your trucks and what kind of concerns do you have? And, you know, it reminds me of uh, when I was in trainer class. Uh, so I've gone through the CDL instructor class twice actually two and a half times <laughs> two and a half times i've been through instructor class uh and every time george or uh what's the other dude's name really cool guy i can't remember for the life of me right now dang it always in the yellow hoodie you guys know who i'm talking about really cool dude um but george always says this he says if you are not going to be comfortable comfortable with someone driving your truck who's never driven a truck before then you have no business training and uh that is also true for running a fleet so if you're not comfortable with someone else driving your truck without you in it whether they have 10 years of experience or 10 weeks of experience uh you have no business running a fleet and you know that's i mean that's really what it all comes down to it could something happen to your truck your truck or trucks yes of course something could happen to your truck whether it's a brand new driver or it's someone who's been driving for 10 years it could be an unpreventable scenario with a very you know a veteran driver and the risk is still there that something could happen to your truck and or trucks um so I have a fourth truck coming. So I have three trucks running right now. Two of the three trucks right now are being driven by drivers who upgraded into my trucks. So in other words, they went right out of TNT into driving one of my trucks. Um, and I never once had any discomforts about it. Uh, not once. I'm very fortunate that I have fantastic drivers. Um, one of them is a highway diamond. Well, I, I don't want to mention too much about her, but cause I don't know if she wants that to happen or not, but I'll tell you that she is an amazing driver. Like she, she you know, uh, she's great. And my other two, the other two drivers are the ones who came out of TNT and one of them has only been running my truck. I think he's on like his second or third load right now, but he's done just fine. The other one upgraded out of TNT and he's been driving my truck for, I don't know, like six months, probably if I had to guess. Uh, and he's been amazing. My fleet manager loves him and, uh, speaks highly of him. So, you know, the thing is, Prime's training uh, is pretty legit. And 
if someone's gone through the whole process, be that 30,000 miles or 50,000 miles, um, you know, they, they should be, they should be competent and ready to go. Are they brand spanking new and need to get a lot of experience? Yes. But so were you, so was I, when I came out of training, we all were, um, you know, everybody has to start somewhere. So you just have to, you just have to trust and, and have faith in that driver. And, um, now this last driver, his trainer is also a YouTuber and I talked to his trainer before he uh, got on my truck. So I had, you know, a little bit of a reference there from his trainer saying, hey, you know, obviously he's brand new, but he's a great driver and he's ready. You know, like that, that gives me some comfort and peace of mind. But even if I don't, one of my other drivers, I didn't, I don't know who his trainer was um, so I didn't have any reference point, but I knew that he, uh, prime saw fit to upgrade him. And that was good enough for me because again, there's just as much risk of s something happening to your truck, uh, or that driver. That's a concern too. It's not just potential for damage to the truck, but it's the life of that driver. Uh, you don't want your, you don't want someone who's driving your truck to be hurt uh, by another driver or something that they do. You don't want that kind of situation. Like, you know, so it's, it's the safety of the driver and the safety of your equipment. But that concern to me is no different, whether it's a brand new driver or a veteran driver has been driving for a decade or more. To me, it's, it's the, you know, there, it, there's just risk and you got to accept it. And it's, there's the same risk if I'm driving the truck. So it's not just because there's someone else driving my truck. So if you're running, a, getting ready to get a second truck or run a fleet, um, my answer to that, and this is how I responded in Discord, my answer to that is get over it. <laughs> so like that's the best way to deal with it, you know? Um, have things happen to my trucks? Yeah. Uh, yes, my trucks have been one one or two of them have been involved in incidents um but you know they're insignificant and that's what we have insurance for if there's significant damage or anything like that you know which fortunately there hasn't been but i don't get concerned about that kind of stuff now i'm fortunate to have uh a lot of rods in the fire so i don't rely on um uh, I don't solely rely on my fleet to take care of me. Uh, so, you know, I've got multiple, multiple businesses and multiple things going on. So I, I don't, I just don't stress about my fleet. Um, I rarely ever talk to my drivers unless they send me a message saying that the world is on fire. Like sometimes, most of the time their messages to me don't even need a response you know like they'll just post they'll just keep me updated on things um but i i rarely ever talk to my drivers i jenna talks to my drivers more than i do so there's just kind of this trust factor and um and i i pay my drivers way more than prime pays company drivers uh and try to give them bonuses and things like that so you know, it's just, it's kind of a, you just can't stress it. You, you will, you will burn yourself up if you let yourself be concerned about things like that. If you, if you just go day to day thinking that's a brand new driver and am I doing the right thing? It's going to eat you up. Uh, you can't think about that. And again, it's no different than there being a 10 year driver. There's, uh, there's potential for something to happen. So, um, that's my answer to that is not, is no, I don't worry what whatsoever, none. Now I will have a conversation with the driver before they become my driver and just get a feel for them. I've turned down probably 10 times as many drivers as I've accepted, um, just because there's something in the conversation, there's some concern, there's... Maybe they aren't that serious about it, you know, 
smoke too many packs of cigarettes a day, uh, want to move a whole family onto my truck, you know, whatever the reasons may be, there, I've, there's been way more. I had probably, that I can think of, about 12 drivers reach out to me about my latest Freightliner that I have on the road. Um, and it, for one reason or another, just didn't feel right, um, until I finally landed on this driver. So it, you know, there's a plethora of reasons that the driver wouldn't work out, but what is not one of them is, is that driver brand new out of training? That is not, that is not a disqualification whatsoever to me. Um, because those drivers are you know, you have to trust the process. You have to trust the system. If, if I were, if I were TNT training right now and I'm going to get in the bed and go to sleep while a driver's driving my truck before they're upgraded, then I'm certainly going to trust the driver to drive my truck after they're upgraded, whether I'm in the sleeper or not. So hopefully that answers that question. Anyway, more to come. I'm trying to make as much as many videos as I can. It's just hard. I got a lot of things going on, but appreciate you guys being patient. Be safe, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. Talk to you soon.